What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Hosting a great day so far and currently right now I'm actually outside of Jacob's house. We're gonna head to the gym right now But before that Jacob actually doesn't even know I'm here I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom real quick and I really don't want to go exactly like right now kind of want to wait like another 10 15 minutes just kind of like mess around. I don't know just chill Jacob's room or something like that Then we'll go to because I still haven't drinking my pre-workout too So I'm gonna drink it in there and just relax for a little bit and then we're gonna go Why does it smell weird? It smells like herbs. Oh, because there's a cup of salad. Salad? It smells like yeah, it smells like something like a like a like a cilantro or something like that. Are you recording? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you ready to go to the gym? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna go in those? Dude, how do people walk run in this shit? <laughs> you gonna tell the world what you bought? No. Why? Just tell the world what you bought, Jacob. What did you buy? I bought some these. <laughs> They're real. They're real. They're real. How much you buy them for? Retail price. Three thousand. What? <laughs> retail price. Retail price. Jacob got lucky, bro. He was able to get these at retail price. I'm not gonna say, but just let's say retail price. Retail price. But I mean, they're honestly not that expensive. Once you told me the price. Yeah, they're like the, they're like the same price as any other ordinary like price, a, almost a, a good Adidas shoe. They're the same price as any of these. Yeah, they were like what? They were like two fifty, right? No, less. Less? Yeah. How much? This is right there, right? No, it doesn't say right there. It, oh, no, it doesn't. How much was it? $230? $240? Yeah, I'll put that in. It's the same price as, as like a good pair of N and D's. Maybe like, like maybe like least, $20 more. So value is it's insane. Just astronomical. It's insane. Jacob treated himself for his birthday, but his other birthday present, he got a Nacho Libre mask out there. Yeah. Well, I don't know, that was birthday present in 2017. I got myself a phone. Put it on. I don't even know. Put it on. Put it on for the video. No. But uh, they want to see you with the mask on. But I'm gonna put on the real Yeezys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show. I'm sure we're gonna show you guys this this meme that I sent the boys earlier. It's hilarious. Stand up straight. Stand up hard, man. Three. What is wrong with you? I can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs. <laughs> Who makes it funny right now? Me and Jacob are just realizing is that this boy's a midget. I know, I know. Yeah, you mean you? I didn't know, but he's a midget. That's pretty funny. I noticed. I can fight this guy. I was like, that's a black midget, huh? It's the skater kids. I told you guys. Look, 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 some skater kids. Should we go check their backpacks? Nah, I'm just kidding. Me, you know, they're probably innocent. Those those kids are probably innocent, but. It is nighttime. Where's the gym? We're back in the infamous parking lot where my camera was stolen. Hopefully, nothing happens today. The, the gym looks kind of packed today for being a Friday night. It's kind of kind of weird. All right, guys, what lighting do you guys think it's better? This kind of like dark, mysterious lighting, or now? Now. <laughs> so, do you guys think this lighting is better? Now, I just wanted to say that the lighting I am using, it's, it's it's dark in my room, obviously. The lights are off, but I feel like this lighting just feels kind of like nice. It kind of feels, kind of doesn't look weird, but essentially, I'm using the main lighting of my laptop screen and using the lighting of my TV. But I feel like this kind of looks better right now with the lighting like this, opposed to me having the TV off and essentially just having lighting from my monitor or my laptop screen because it looks kind of like, looks kind of weird. But anyways, long story short, I just want to get to the main gist of this video, which essentially is I'm going to be explaining why I switched from having... I, why I switch all my lifting equipment pretty much, but why did I switch specifically to the brand that I'm using now, which is SBD? Um, I switch. I used to use an, an Inzer belt, which I have literally have literally right here. This is my old Inzer belt. Never gonna forget it. I have Deku on there, Superman logo, All Might on there, and stuff like that. Cool ass stickers, you know. So I'm never gonna forget about this belt. This belt is literally the memories of all the PRs I've hit, but essentially, oh, by the way, also knee sleeves wise, I already, I already made a video a long time ago that I switched to new knee sleeves, but so I'm not really gonna be talking a lot about that specific subject, but I just wanna say pretty much why I switched the belts in, in particularly. All right guys, so while I have this little discussion, I'm gonna have some workout play in the background from the previous clip. So let's hop right into it. Okay, so essentially the main reason why I switched from SBD to, oh, not, why did I keep saying SBD? Why did I switch 
from Inzer to SBD essentially is because of my friend Joe. My friend Joe has an SBD build that he got a few months back and honestly, every time I go to the gym with them, I'm like, so, yo, so you're gonna let me, can I, can I, can I, you know, can I, he's like, yes, you can use it. So I, I've used it on my bench already before. I, I've used it to deadlift, I use it to squat. And honestly, I don't know what it is, <laughs> I just cracked my fingers and honestly, I don't know idea what it is, but the belt just feels So so nice Um, also the fact that it is a 13 millimeter while the insert one that I have is a 10 millimeter So it does feel a little bit thicker. Um, you really can't tell that much of a difference But personally for me, I've been using my insert belt for such a long time that um, we're not too long But I've been using it for, for about like almost like a year year and a half that from switching from that To, to the SPD, I can actually tell the difference. I felt it. I wouldn't necessarily, I feel like I can, it helps me lift more weight. It just kind of feels, feels like an extra cushion, if that makes any sense. But long story short, I switched it because the SPD belt is so nice. I love the fact that it's a lever belt, but it's like, a, at the same time, it's kind of like, not really a prong belt, but it's still adjustable because you can adjust the planes. So I'll actually bring it out for you guys. So as you guys can see, you guys can actually like adjust it to see which one you want, opposed to having like the inner one. I'm literally gonna freaking, hope I don't break anything here. Opposed to the inner one, you literally just have one hole as an entrance and you have to pretty much to see what size that you want to put so essentially the hole that is at right now because essentially this is screwed in this is it like you can't switch this around until unless you get a screwdriver and pretty much just like unscrew these so essentially no one can kind of use your belt it's kind of just have to be you or if somebody has the same weight size as you that's honestly what you're limited to which i kind of don't like that um i used to not have a big deal with it but personally for me lately is that like my gym times aren't always consistent so sometimes i go earlier in the day, sometimes like later in the day, and depending on how much I had to eat that day so far, I, it can fluctuate. Some days I get bloated and stuff like that, and at night, and I'm like, dude, this belt literally feels like it's gonna burst my stomach. And then some days when I don't really eat that much, and I go a little bit earlier, like towards the morning times, I'm like, this feels like it has no support. Like, I don't know why, well, not that no support, but it just, it feels too loose, you know what I mean? Opposed to this SBD belt, I can pretty much choose what hole I want it, how tight I want it. So that's really awesome. Another one thing too I want to go with is the aesthetics of the belts. Now this might not be a big deal to some people, but to me personally, um, as, as, uh, not as, not SPD, as Inzer belts do come with multiple colors so you can like pretty much choose whatever color you want. There's like, I have like the white one, that's what it's called, but it used to be white, but the more and more you use it, it gets kind of dirty. So it kind of looks like kind of like grayish, but you can get like so many different colors. You get like light blue, Mark has a red one, Jacob has a, a black one. There's so many different colors you guys can get. There's even one that it looks like the American flag. It's literally so many different colors you can get. So you're not limited by the color, but I kind of like, but this is the thing. I kind of like this like nice plain leather black. And on the inside it has like this nice, red sway that it's just i don't know it just looks cool i like it. it's very pleasing to the eye and also i do like the fact that it is leather and i do want to put a couple stickers on here like i have my inzer one now i'm not going to go all the way out like the inzer one the inzer one's just full of stickers but i'm probably gonna put like one or two at most but i'm gonna make sure the stickers look nice on it and also since it's leather they stick a lot better so yeah that's pretty much why i switch just want to make a quick little video about that because i did get my spd belt recently and i didn't really acknowledge about it i think in my last video when um i wanted to talk about it a little bit well actually i unboxed the spd belt but the footage for that was in hey, my camera that got stolen it sucks also by the way the one thing that also got stolen along with my camera was this gorilla pod that i have the thing that goes in here that connects the camera together it was underneath the camera my my dslr that, that got stolen so i no longer have this thing to connect it so right now what i'm using is a tripod i'm using my hydro flask so i'm using the little canon g7x i have it on top of my hydro flask as a freaking tripod and honestly it's working out pretty good but that's pretty much gonna be it guys i just want to give you give you a little quick video essentially explaining why i got this Uh, belt um i had this footage from this video that i was making i was making a vlog and then i had this footage but i had a, i had an idea in my head i was like you know what i feel like i'm just gonna 
end the vlog here and just kind of like continue add this video on with the the video I wanted to make about uh, SPD and Inzer why I switch I didn't I don't see the purpose in making two separate videos because they both would have been kind of short so fine I just smushed them into one but uh, one thing I do want to address guys I know I've been a little bit inconsistent with videos lately um honestly the whole getting my camera stolen just kind of like shaking me up like yesterday I was thinking about it in my car I was like damn bro someone broke into my car like I don't know it's just that 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 thought alone bothers me it's not like not even so much the camera anymore but it's just the fact that someone was in my car I was like and the fact that I don't even know how I don't know, I'm not gonna talk about it cuz it's just like I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole but anyways so yeah it's kind of like it's been bugging me out a little bit and I feel like that shouldn't be bugging me out cuz I can still make videos with this camera so it's not really a big deal but I don't know I don't know whatever anyways guys that's gonna conclude the video so I hope you guys enjoyed it like comment subscribe all that good stuff so next time is baby boy Gio and I'm out deuces the pickle brick memes, man, fuck Normie. When I die, bury me inside a Gucci coffin. Make kiss all day in the rain, no stopping. J kill Josh, ain't make tracks too often. I don't need a gold chain, cause we're too damn awesome. When I die, bury me inside a Gucci coffin. Make kiss all day in the rain, no stopping. J kill Josh, ain't make tracks too often. I don't need a gold chain, cause we're too damn awesome. Uh. Slip my 